Gandhi by Gopal Joshi was exemplary in creating hope and showing the path for Indian women to pursue education and work toward the betterment of society. As the first Indian female doctor and Hindu woman to receive a degree in Western medicine, she shattered barriers and paved the way for women in a male-dominated field. She had strong opinions on the capabilities of women in medical care and was determined to succeed in a medical career path. Anandibai's life and accomplishments serve as a significant turning point in history, highlighting pr- the progress made in granting women equal opportunities in all major fields, especially in India. Originally named Yamuna, she was born into an impoverished family of former landlords in Kalyan, India, on March 31, 1865. Right away, she faced many challenges from a young age. For one, she had five siblings for her family to care for alongside her, although families in India at the time were quite large. At just nine years of age, she was married off to a postal clerk named Gopal Rao Joshi, who was about 20 years her senior. Following a cultural tradition, Gopal Rao named her Anandibai, which meant joy of my heart. At the age of 13, Anandibai and Gopal Rao had a child, although the child, due to lack of medical care, didn't survive even a month. This event tore on Anandibai and helped establish her determination to attend a medical school, which would eventually benefit other women from her background who she believed were going through the similar difficulties as she was. Gopal Rao, unlike his fellow men around him, was a believer in the capabilities of women and encouraged Anandibai to pursue her medical dream. In Anandibai's lifetime, Indian women could only get proper education by traveling abroad. However, Christian women could find support in India, as it was under British rule. This made it much harder for Anandibai to pursue the medical career that she was committed to. A message containing Anandibai's desire to study medicine in the United States was written by her husband in the Christian journal Missionary Review of the World. American missionary Royal Wilder saw this letter, and it caught the eye of Theodisha Carpenter, a New Jersey resident who agreed to help Anandibai pursue her medical career and give her a place to stay. She was able to get accepted into the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania, which is part of Drexel University in Philadelphia. She took her studies at the medical college very seriously. At the very young age of 19 and with strong resolve and hard work, Anandibai finally graduated from Drexel University in March 1886 with a medical degree and rank of Doctor of Medicine. She was the first Indian woman to accomplish this feat. Her thesis was focused on the problems with childbirth of Aryan-descended Hindus, a topic fueled by the loss of her son. This remarkable achievement came to the attention of Queen Victoria of England, who decided to send a congratulatory note to the medical college. Anandibai decided to sail back to India in October 1886. She was then appointed as the physician in charge of the female ward at the Albert Edward Hospital in Maharashtra, her native state. During her time in America and her extremely brief time as a doctor, Anandibai's health was rapidly deteriorating. It was thought to be because of the change in temperature and food style when switching between the two countries' lifestyles. Although she was Celebrated for her accomplishments once she returned to her country, she was quickly diagnosed with tuberculosis, an incurable disease at the time. She had to stop working at the hospital immediately and passed away a few months thereafter on February 26, 1887, at the young age of 22, never getting enough chance to practice what she learned at the medical college. All of India mourned her death, and her belief that women can treat other women best is still reflected to this day. The events of Anandibai Gopal Joshi's life and her accomplishments acted as a turning point in history as they changed the way society looks at the medical field and women today. Anandibai's main belief was that only women could better understand the problems faced by other women. During Anandibai's time, male doctors were the only ones who were thought to probably be able to treat more serious illnesses such as the disease tubular chlorosis that Anandi by herself contracted. Nursing was thought to be the only medical practice adequate for women, as women were presumed to be caring. Anandi by proved that women can not only be caring, but also be equally, if not more, capable of providing the same treatment as men. 
Now, many patients, both male and female, are treated by female doctors. Anandibai also turned India's industrial practices. India had a large medical industry when compared to other countries even before the time of Anandibai's life. However, other countries had a higher count of women in medicine. India was a country that restricted many opportunities for women to get an education. However, the British rule under India during Anandibai's time made it easier for Christian women to find education and support in British India. In contrast, Hindu women were only able to get a proper education and become successful by traveling abroad, and only a select few attempted. Even so, the decision was easier to make than getting accepted. Anandibai was lucky as she found support to study in America. Anandibai's ability to succeed in a time and place that was deemed impossible was recognized and enabled future Hindu women to succeed in education and their careers which was further forwarded into other countries that had similar restrictions on the possibilities of a woman's future. Her life was so inspirational, not only to her fellow countrywomen, but also to her colleagues and had such a positive influence that they requested her ashes after her death to be sent to the U.S. and respectfully buried them in a graveyard in Poughkeepsie, New York. In conclusion, the events of Anandibai Gopal Joshi's life and her accomplishment as the first Indian female doctor in the 1880s helped change the medical industry of India and, more importantly, the lives of Indian women. She broke stereotypical barriers in society and contributed towards the education, career, and success for women. Andalibai had a short but eventful and inspirational life, and everything she accomplished was able to make a lasting impact on the society of her time and even today.